After multiple requests, we're going to be replacing Splash Shield inserts and clips. Hello everyone, this is Rob Rina here, and today we're going to be doing as much of a tutorial as we can about replacing these nut inserts for our T30 torque screws for the Splash Shield area. Um, I had this one break and fall out. I have a replacement kit off Amazon that I got here. I'm going to link it in the description below. And that kit comes with all of those pieces. You got the metal clips, the red inserts, and the T30 screws as well. So I'll do the best I can to show you what I found out. It's easiest to do this with the front of the vehicle on jack stands. For more help with this, check out the link above or in the description below. Aside from the jack stand materials, you're going to need a T30 Torx driver, an 8mm socket, a flathead driver, and replacement parts linked below. So just a quick demo here on how this stuff works. I have a brand new insert here. You can see that the two flanges are flared outwards a bit so that it will pop in and hold itself there. But this actually functions, you can see the split right along the back line there. This actually functions just like a drywall anchor. When your T30 screw is inserted, you can really see those two flanges expand. Now look how flared out it is. And that will definitely keep it in that square profile in your subframe. With the splash shield removed, let's take a look. All right, so this is one of the three T30 Torx screw nut inserts that are on the back row when you take your splash shield off. And to, these ones are easy. You can remove these ones with a flathead screwdriver. If this one's stripped, you can just pop it out. Your new one, again, with the unexpanded tabs, pop it back in the hole. And then when you do your T30 screw, it's, it's going to expand those tabs and hold it in place. So one, two, and three in the back are very easy to get to with your flathead screwdriver. Now let's look at those clips on the side of the driver and passenger wheel well. So looking back, if you need to replace one of the tabs on the side, again, flathead screwdriver, get in there. You can just walk that guy right off. And it just has two little teeth. You can push the new ones in. Here's my new piece. Make sure that the flared part goes on top and that the clip nests evenly between the two molded in ribs in the plastic. And now let's look at the front four inserts. All right, now to access the front nut inserts for replacement, you need to get underneath this cover here, which is directly under your radiator. Now to pull that down, you really only need to pull out these three T30 Torx screws and those are the ones that are still there after you pull your splash shield off. That will allow this cover to come down a little bit. If you'd like more wiggle room, it helps to separate the silver bumper cover from this piece. So you undo these 8mm hex screws as well. And that'll just give it a little bit more slide. So you can pull it down a little further to get to your inserts. All right, now that we can pull this cover down a little bit, I'm gonna pull this down enough so I can get my screwdriver in there. I'm gonna pull out my stripped one, put the brand new one back in. That's all there is to it. Every, reassemble everything, send your screw in there, and you're as good as new. All right, so that about wraps up how to replace the nut inserts as well as the clips for our splash shields on our 2013 and up Ford Escapes. Um, now reinstall all of the T30 screws as well as the eight millimeter hex screws that go right there. And then put your splash shield in like normal. When the screws go in, it'll expand the tabs of the new inserts and you'll be good to go. So if you need any links to these parts we got off Amazon, the links below in the description as well as in our Amazon storefront. Anything you get on Amazon through our links does not cost you anything extra, but it does go to support the channel. So we appreciate the help there. Um, if you have not already, like this video please, give us a thumbs up if you thought it was helpful, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell icon to be notified of any future videos um, to come. So thanks a lot for watching How to Escape, let us know if there's anything else we can help you with, and we'll see you next time. See ya!